Hello and welcome back to another time traveling video. So in today's video, we're going to be going right down Allerton Road. So we're going to start at the Tesco in Allerton Road. And we're going to go right down to possibly the mystery, I'd say, or maybe before. But we're going to cover Penny Lane, the song as well. So right opposite Tesco is the old fire station mentioned in the song Penny Lane. The original doors to this fire station are now in the Penny Lane Development Trust, which I have done a video on in the past, and I shall link in description. By all means, go and take a look at that. So, um, we're going to start things off there with, oh, where's my dates? 2008. The school teaches a friendly society. And in 2008, I do believe that fire station was still open. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. Right, so what we're going to do, flip back to 22, because that's the last time it was updated. We're going to briefly cross this road here. So as you can see, the fire station is now getting developed into apartments. And before that was Allerton Police Station. So it's the fire station um, and it's the police station getting developed into houses. We'll just flick across the road. That Allerton Library's been there for a trillion years, so we don't really need to have a look at that. There's the old stupid lamb bananas we had. And um, what was it? Liverpool Capital Culture Bollocks. So uh, 2022. We have all this. So we're just going to start from, let's say, here. Yeah. So Lifestyle Collective. Is it Collective? Yeah. Milan. Um, another restaurant there. In 2008. Milan. Oh, is it Nilon? Nilon will do. Oh, no. Milan, Nilon, whatever. Live a laundrette, and we have shoe repairs. La Scarlet and a pet shop. What do we have now instead of a pet shop? We still have a pet shop, which incidentally, I've never been in that pet shop. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it is a pet shop. Is it a pet? It's called pet. Mm. I suppose you can still call it a pet shop. Who cares? Okay. Dee -dee -dee. So we had some restaurants still there. A Chinese Eastern Diner. That's been there for since the dinosaurs were about. Eastern Diner, yeah. So let's go across the road. Uh, this is going to be awkward, this one, isn't it? Because there's no point in doing two separate videos on two different types. Uh, two sorts of sections of the road. That's, that's a weird one. Is that still there? That was August 22 last year. You don't see many of these clothes about now. United Colours of Netto. So, Perfect Shutters, Bloom, per Netto, The Other Place, and let's see. So, Green Lane Pharmacy, Crichton's, Loom and Gallery. Yeah, it's going to be slightly awkward, this one, so I do apologise if I've got to sort of deviate off. So we're going to deviate off down this road. Now, Chandler's and... What's that now? It's just a pub. That's still the same there. The John Brody. I think the last time I went in there it was Yates's, so it gives you a bit of an idea of um, timeline. Allerton Oak, is it? Yeah. Allerton Oak. And we have New York Bar. Twenty twenty. Well, the last time it was updated was 2020, so that is this is slightly out of date by at least well three years. So, a quick look at this: Allet Studios, Helping Hands, Subway, Allet Minimart, 
Bet Fred uh, Fitness Place and something else. In 2012, we have Home Warehouse, Subway, Martins. Let's go a bit further up. Bet and Win, Ever Lost. Now, there used to be the cinema there, the single screen cinema. And um, that's been closed a while. I thought that was only closed in the last, say, couple of, well, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm all confused. Anyway, Barclays Bank has been there since Jesus was born. And it will always be there unless they decide to close that one. Uh, let's jump across. Have we missed anything else? I think we've missed this out here. Or have we? No, no, we haven't. I do apologise. That was 2011. Let's get back with it. Let's get back with it. Right, let's go here. Let's go here. The corner room. Uh, the interesting eating company. 18, whatever. <clears throat> Apologies, me throat. The zip yard. Uh, East River. Rachel Hunter and Gorilla. Gorilla. And in 2008, we had Hampers, a bridal house, place to meet, a barber's daily, or ba barber's daily. Oh, you know what? I've just, I've not long woke up, so barber daily. I do apologise if you're watching. Hey, anyway, WJ Gidmini and Son, Beijing City, Telly Forest, and the other place, Delhi. I do remember that. See, most of these I don't remember because I don't really come up this way. So, yeah. Oh, we'll go back up the road. We'll get back to 2022. Let's go over here. 2022, we had El Blanco, Sainsbury's local, Spec Savers and Iceland. In 2008, we had Iceland still a bon mache. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Blockbuster. Wow. So we had Xbox 360, Wii, PlayStation 3 and Nintendo DS era at the time. So what was that again? So now it's the same to be local. Wow. Blockbuster 8. Sadly missed. Sadly missed. Oh, we've crossed over a bit too far there. Okay, so across the road in 2022, we have the post box, the post box, the post office. I can't even talk today. Cannot talk. Baltic Bakehouse. Um, funeral pilot place, whatever you call them. Bennett and Batty. Opticians. Bennett and Batty. Funeral place is still there. That's the lay and desires. Right, you who? That's um we've been there, haven't we? Let's go over there. Odd bins. I am pretty sure. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure it's still there, but we're actually on on current uh, current day imagery. So we've got odd bins says age UK. Yummy Green and Nat West, and in 2008, Nat West is still there. Mezzy side glass help the aged. Don't just put them in a home. Old bins and Sayers. Let's go back across the road. Right. So today, well, when I say today, last year, uh, Pierre Grief or Griffs, whatever you call him, I don't care. Ladbrokes. Uh, three piggies, Vinci, Ladbrokes, and in 2008 we had um, I don't know a shop. I think the names under these are uh, Ornans. Right, let's get back to current imagery. Uh, we've had that. Let's go to the best fishmongers in Liverpool. B. Clark and family. 
absolutely fantastic squid from that place. Wowzer. Adam's Apple, William Hill. Oh, I do apologise. I do apologise. I do apologise. It's that. That's the fishmongers. That's the butchers. Best squid in Liverpool from there. Probably the best beef from there, I don't know. Voglio and M. Something behind that lamppost. 2008. Miranda. Optician. Fishmonger still there. We had a news agent. Adam's apple still there. And the butchers. Never been in there, so I was lying before when I said the best meat. Never been in that butchers. Okay, so uh, back to current day imagery. Let's cross the road. It's always a pain doing these videos when you got a bloody dual carriageway. Right, so we've got El Blanco. Go Loco. Edge. Uh, Pose and Pelt and the St. Joseph's Hospice and I do believe oh no it's a go local now 2008 it was a go local here's and bag and booze and Swinton is that insurance place I do no right hey, should be a bit easier when we get past all these trees Okay, so anyway, 2022 of July. Domino's, Greek Tavern, Allerton Convenience Store, Maze, and a Murray. And in 2008, let's just flick back. So Maze was there. Da Flavor, Da Flavor, Allerton News, Domino, Hoo-hoo's. And the Greek Tavern, whatever you call it. Right, so nowadays we've got Bernardo's, um, Schoolwear, and the Nail Spa. In 2008 we had Diggle's Jewelry Place, Bernardo's, and Lloyd's Pharmacy, and what looks like an old bus. Okay, so let's just flick here because there's a tiny little alcove. So we've got shoe repairs, different care of the square and a solicitors. Um, 2008 we had the Lung Cancer Foundation, shoe repairs, the square and yep, solicitors. Okay, here's one of those dingo buses there. If any enthusiasts are watching, the bus. Branded for Capital of Culture 2008. There's the fleet number there, 2586. So, yeah, Capital of Culture, what a load of absolute crap that was. Uh, have we been over there? Oh, no, we haven't. Fung Lock. Another solicitors, Electro Vapes. All of the people at the bus stop. Presumably, half nine. All the R ones at the bus stop. 2008, a Fung Lock, Castle Estates, Maureen Hughes, Clare House, and the Salon and Hair Room just here. Let's flick across here. So we're going to stay with 2008. 2008, Linen Warehouse, Home Bargains, which has been there since Liverpool was invented, I think. So, yeah. And nowadays we have Hayes Travel, Home Bargains. It's not Home and Bargains, it's Home Bargains. And it's the Asda, not Asda. Go on the Asda. Right, 2008 we had some, oh yeah, oh I remember, yeah. People used to live in the houses. And now, dental clinic, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Um, so nowadays we have the bank and it's always been a bank. There we go. Nothing special there. Uh, we're not going to go down there because that's not Allerton Road. There's another bus, another old bus, and there's a, what you thought was the driver's ball spot. 
anyway uh, right okay so Tony and Guy Tony and Guy to this day opticians El Blanco uh, Turkish Barbers Hayes Travel and Hydra in 2008 opticians Johnson's the cleaners El Blanco and Hydro is the what's that oh it's a hydrocarbon dry cleaning why did I think it was something else anyway right so uh, we're going to kick things off with the most and I know it's for charity but the most expensive charity shop in the world Oxfam cheers for that Bob Geldof uh, Oxfam Timson Allerton Skyos, well, I can't even, I don't even be asked pronouncing that one. Wise travel, and we had, I'm going to look at this in a minute when that tree's gone. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, years ago, what I used to do was pretty much a charity shop run. I used to buy and sell stuff at car boot sales, but every now and then I'd go on a charity run, just literally the whole of Allerton Road, and just see what I could find. Didn't find much because, uh, charity shops prices are quite shocking nowadays and i know it's a charity but you know man wants a bargain martin and co move residential santander uh, means something better and uh, el blanco and in 2008 we had boots got that really nice looking sort of thing there upstairs msb solicitors Abby, uh, Thompson, fitted bedrooms, uh, Swindon there just hiding in the background. Sayers, yeah, that was that. Cross back over. Uh, let's get back to current imagery, which is W. H. Smith, Max Spielman, and Barhead Travel. Max Spearman still there in 2008. Greg's. Oh, 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 oh. I have Josh Scott. Oh, oh, oh yes. The, I haven't done a video on it because I've done too many Greg's too good to go videos, but I have just got five bags from Liverpool Airport last night and wowzer. <laughs> fully, fully loaded. Anyway. Uh, let me see. Where should we go now? Should we deviate down here? Yeah, come on then. Move residential. Papa John's, Hidden Hearing, Sutton Kirsch in 2008, Sutton Kirsch, The Late Jones and Chapman on the Corner, Goodman Solicitors, Papa John's, and I can hear hissing. I'm going to just give it a minute. I've got some cats hissing at each other here. Move residential, yeah. Binks, come on, out, come on, downstairs. Come on. Come on. Trying to film a video. Every time I film a video, the cats always create. Uh, right, where, where are we now? So we've been down there. We need to go across here now. Okay, let's cross the road. J&M Mortgage Services of Glockland, Bennett & Co, Allerton Nail Spa and Halifax. What do we have now? We have 2008 and accountants. Um, some sort of cafe, Bennett & Co. Hallmark. I remember that, yeah. And the uh, Halifax Bank is still there. Or well, Building Society, is it? I don't know. Woolies in 2008. Sadly now, it's a Tesco and a Costa. Love Woolies. Well, not loved. I liked it. If you loved Woolies, if you love something, you want to marry it, don't you? I don't know, but anyway. Uh, whistle green. And whistle green. Let me just get back to that one. Right. So today we have Ken and Doyle, Open Door, Jones and Chapman, and more Crofts solicitors. Farrell Hayworth. Venmore, Halifax, Stephen D. Brown, and Entwistle Green. I, I hate this road. You know, I'm just not a fan. You try and park in here on a weekend, it is absolute chaos, I'm telling you. 
Avoid it like the plague. Right, let's get across the road again. Tesco, funeral directors, Global Streets, Card Factory. We'll go over there in a minute. In 2008, we've got HTL buses bloody blocking the view. We've seen Woolworths, got Edwards, Robert Edwards and Warrell, Homelets, and something called Cards. Which, what was that now? Oh, it's Card Factory now, so yeah. Indigo Sun. And we had Specsavers. Uh, do you know what this cat is creating again? Sorry, be back. Right back. Thanks. Come on, please. Come on. Right. Never get two Tomcats. One always wants to be boss. Allerton Barbers. Bellevue. Oh, again, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Venmore. Ado abode. Abode. Adobe. Adobe. Abode. Sorry. Back to 2008. So we've got the Barbers. Parkgate Lettings. Uh, a restaurant of some sort. Oh, look at that. Maisie Mart and Star. Your local. Wow. Maisie Mart. Is that still going? Or is that Maisie? Maisie Nart? I don't know what that means anyway. The co-op travel and the bookies. Now, we're coming on to a very interesting part of this video. And a very interesting part of Liverpool in general. So, just for the record, I'm not a massive Beatles fan. But I do like the songs that they've they've had hits on and stuff like that. So anyway, this here was the bus terminus where Paul McCartney wrote the song Penny Lane. Now, it's still there to this day, as you can see. Now, it only goes back in certain parts of it. So that's 2015 when it was called the Bistro Bus Shelter. And I do believe it was called... Oh, yes, yeah, so Sergeant. Yes, yeah, sorry, Sergeant Pepper's Bistro. So, if we sort of try and let me see if we can get rid of this bus. So, 2008, it looked like that without the um, thing you put on top of it. I can just get, yeah, so yeah, as you can see there. It never worked out. It's never ever been anything else other than just lay derelict for whatever. Now, if you look across the road here, the barber's mentioned in the song Penny Lane. There's Tony Slavin. So, just a little fun fact. Even say, so, see this sign here in 2008, and then see this sign in 2022. So behind this sign is the original sign uh, by Aletti when it was the original sort of uh, barbers, by Aletti as it was called. That's still there to this day, hiding behind this. It's always cheaper to sort of cover up when you take over a new premises. It's always cheaper to cover up what's there rather than take it off and store, so, you know, and all that. So there's someone there taking a photograph, I do believe, of that very said barbers. Uh, and then the bank also mentioned in the song Penny Lane was there. So nowadays it is nothing but nothing really. And then back in the day it was, well when I say back in the day, go back to 2008, it was Lloyd's TSB. I don't know what bank it was when uh, when Paul wrote the song like, but um, yeah, very interesting and uh, a very interesting place of Liverpool. Also St. Barnabas Church where Paul McCartney used to be a choir boy. And I think something else happened. But I can't remember what at the moment. Something else. So someone's probably going to come in the comments and say, yeah, whatever. So a couple of months ago, we had John Lennon's statue that was put here. And it is now being removed. And I do believe someone robbed his glasses. But it was only really due to be sort of put back here for a couple of months anyway so a bit of a shame it's been robbed all you know, glasses have been robbed so 
Penny Lane, when people think of Penny Lane, people think of Penny Lane being here. It's actually not. This is still Smith Down Road, Allerton Road, Smith Down Place. Penny Lane is actually there. Down there, that's Penny Lane. Because that's where when Paul wrote the song, he was looking down to Penny Lane. There. So you've got the Penny Lane wine bar. And you've got the Penny Lane Development Trust, which is here. But as I say, I've done a video on that in the past. And I'll just sort of like link it in the description. Anyway, fun fact for you there. Uh, where are we now? Are we back to current imagery? Yeah, we are. So 2008, we had uh, solicitors. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. White building, uh, Lawrence and Go, select carpets. So we've still got a carpet place still there to stay. Footlights. Uh, what's what's one of these shops here? When you drive past of a night, it's got the brightest fucking LED lights flashing outside. Oh, what's that there? It's the old Penny Lane Hotel. Didn't even know that existed. Oh, that's a new one. Uh, let's go over here to cash converters, which I do believe is yeah, it's been there for a while. Um, oh, this is a bit of an awkward one. Okay, Marshall Property. Uh, and we had, well, we've got L. We've got another shop that's got no name on it. Now, I do believe this was Hatton's model shop. Please come up. Yeah, model railways. Yeah, Hatton's. Penny Lane Kitchens and Liaisons. So what we're going to do is we're going to flick back to current imagery. We're going to cross the road a little bit. Oh no, it's not letting me. Oh, can we cross the road? Yeah, we can. Okay, so. Oh, it's crossing over. Anyway, Utopia for Men. Uh, let me see. 2008. Still late. Good to see it. Uh, still going to this day. The Tavern Company. Apparently the best breakfast in Liverpool one place i have never been in but apparently it's supposed to be really really nice right we've got a garage which has been there as well since the dinosaurs were invented yeah okay so current imagery oxfam as i said before the most expensive charity shop in the world jennifer green pity pity and oh, i remember I remember breaking down on a bus once and it was like literally i think it was where was it i think it was there yeah and i went over into that yeah and uh, i had the dodgiest fucking burger ever and just ended up pooing everywhere should we say um well it's now a half or so center post office uh back in 2008 it was Still the post office, yeah, and then a house that was here, which, what was it back in, oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Oh, no, actually, no, so, so I do apologise, I keep getting mixed up with current and sort of old images. All right, okay, so that's what we've got today. And back then we've got, Oh, I thought he was stuck then. Someone. He's neither dancing or he's, I don't know. Is he crossing or is he dancing? I don't know. Anyway, Hacker's Hair Studio, Siam Garden, which I have been in. Very nice in there. And we have this. And we have this other sort of vacant land, should we say. Now we've got a load of like sort of apartments, I think, and new newish things. Which now moves me on to this place. Now, if I can remember rightly, apparently it used to be old tram sheds. And when they were knocking, or when they were developing the land, which looked like that, it was, um, they exposed all the old sort of lines inside the sheds and stuff like that. I did mean to go down and film it, but it's just one of those things. I've got loads of things to do, so... I just uh, forgot about it and it's now been sort of built over. Yeah, as you can see there. Yeah, bit of a shame, like, but you know, one of those things. You can't be 
uh, in everywhere, in every space, uh, every place. So we've got fireplace place uh, 2008. It was, I think it was still, it was antiques. Yeah, antiques. This, I don't know what that building is. It's something to do with, is it a power station or something? I don't know. 2022, we got the crafty swine, white rooms and whatever it is. And then back in 2008, we had mustard bar. Uh, another one is that that's probably connected to that, isn't it? I think. And then cube, cube. Right. So let me just go back to there. So today we have. Yeah, budget tyres, which are also in Garston. Didn't that used to be the Penny Lane Motor Company and then he moved across there? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong, I don't know. I just remember a car showroom being there and then... I don't know. I don't know. Possibly. Answers on a postcard, anyone watching? Uh, yeah, so we got... Well, it's Allerton Motors now, so um, possibly it was Penny Lane Motors and they closed down, I don't know, but anyway, so we have uh, the Glitter Lounge signs. Now, is this the same shop that used to be on Renshaw Street in town? Do you remember when they used to decorate the fellow on the ladder at Christmas every year, like Father Christmas? Uh, 2008, we had signs still, fireplace and Steffi's Kitchen. There's something very interesting around this uh, general area, which I'm going to do a video on. I keep meaning to do videos on things. and uh, I must admit, most of the time I'm lazy. I'll just go, no, I can't be bothered going out today. And I should, I should just go, look, let's just get this done. But something very interesting around here anyway. There's going to be a video on, on this pretty soon. Pretty cool as well. If you've seen it, yeah, if you know about it. If you haven't, you know, stay tuned. So 2008, York and Young, the bathroom centre. Live alone set, student homes, and a barber shop. Twenty twenty two, M properties, and an M series is it? York and Young bathroom centre, and is that the same people? Oh yeah, we got two little things there. Yeah. Oh nice. Right, let's go a little bit. I always found these shops just odd. Just I don't I don't know what it is. Is it just me? Just every time I come down, I just find these. These shops are a bit odd. I don't know. Probably just waffle and crap. Warm surroundings in 2008. Natter Jack running centre. Taste good. 551. Yeah, the sandwich shop. Tattoo studio and Smith Down Electrical. Uh, I think so. the electrical place is still there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's yeah, still, still there. Okay. Right, so the music developments. Let's get a bit further up. Smith Down News, Icon. A property place. Um, can we just get a bit of a wider? Oh, no, can't. No worries. Okay. So in 2008, Smith Down News, Allerton Injury Clinic. Inspired. Flux. I don't know. Do apologise for my vocabulary skills today. So in 2008, well, when I say 2008, let me see. Let me go back to 2008. There used to be a bar called Fanny's Bar, but it's now a Chinese restaurant, and it always I was called Lemongrass now. So yeah, so it used to be Fanny's Bar. All the lads used to be quite. Pally with me, old workplace used to be his local. Um, used to come into work, bladdered, being in Fanny's all night. Right, okay, so in 2022, we have Ultimut, uh, the raw one next to it, Purple Carrot, Melius Tutoring. This shop's been here since Jesus bought his first pair of flip flops. Um, the Catering Company Centre, which, yeah, it's still there. But it's still vacant, so it hasn't been developed. Obviously, because you're looking at it now. Um, let's see if we can just get... Oh, yeah, that's better. That's a better. So, yeah, there it is in full swing. There's the newsagents. Quick tan. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, I wanted to see this. Micro music. Wowza. Wow. Long gone. I don't know if the fella packed up or it's just sort of... I, I never got the full story on that, but I did go in quite a few times for guitar stuff. When I lived down Park Road, it was like the nearest one. And then now you've got, yeah, them. Oh, that's interesting. So we're going to probably end this here because if I carry on, we're going to be going into Smith Down Road territory and stuff like that. And the video is just going to be too bloody long. But yeah, we're going to, yeah, we're, we're, I'm going to end it here because, yeah. But stay tuned because around, I think it's this area or it's around this area anyway. I have got a video coming out soon. I mean, when I say coming out soon, I haven't actually shot it yet. I need to go and sort of do the video, but it's very interesting. And as I say, if you know about it, if you know what I'm talking about, cool. If you don't, stay tuned. It, it's very, very interesting. So, yeah, so there you go. A little look along Allerton Road and a little stop across some of the Beatles things. Um, there's no point in showing you the mystery because the mystery is 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 a mystery. It's it's a park basically. In 2008, it was still a mystery, and in 2022, it's still a mystery. I'll just quickly show you this actually uh, while I'm here, just to end round things off. So Fitwell and we had uh, Ledbetter and Murphy, uh, and in 2008, I know that was still there because that's been there since. Me nan and granddad died and I think they got buried via these from here. So yeah. So it's fit well still there anyway, so yeah. Yeah, so there you have it folks. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next time travelling video.